right, well, it's official. It's officially a pandemic. So what does that mean? Well, with silver prices down to $15.80 an ounce, it means it's time to buy. So this is 32 more ounces to the stack. Stopped by uh, Main Street Coin on my way home today and picked up 32 more ounces. That's going to bring my uh, total for the month uh, to six, right around 264, 65 ounces, somewhere in that range uh, for the month. And we, me and my wife, we've decided since we had some pretty good financial uh, good fortune uh, a few months back, we decided to, to up our... Um, are stacking to right around 300 a month, 300 ounces a month. If we can do that, probably won't be going too much longer. In fact, we were supposed this was this month right here was supposed to be the last month that we did 300 ounces a month. But with silver being so stackable, I don't know if I can do. It. <laughs> I don't know if I can stop stacking. I mean, we're close to 300 ounces, so I haven't actually reached 300 ounces for this month yet. I mean, we're we're just 12 days into March, and I haven't reached. 300 ounces yet. I'm trying to pace myself a little bit because I know my wife, <laughs> I mean, she's all about sticking to a plan. And really, I'm all about sticking to a budget. You guys know I tout that all the time. I'm always talking about make a budget, stick to your budget. But these are extraordinary circumstances, you will all agree, with the, with the way things are going in the world globally right now, the way the financial system is going right now, and how so stackable silver is. I mean, today, when the market's closed, silver closed at $15.60 an ounce. Now that is incredibly stackable. But anyway, I'm going to try to stick to that. Like I said, I haven't actually reached $300. I mean, 300 ounces a month yet this month, but it won't be long. I mean, like I told you, I'm, I'm almost 300 ounces in and we're only 12 days into March, uh, but we'll see. I mean, I'm not going to stop stacking if silver is still stackable. Now, you know, we, we've allotted our finances for a lot of different things silver being just one of those things uh so we're gonna you know we're gonna have to take care of those but anyway so the governor closed the schools in our state they did what they call extended the uh, spring break uh k through 12 so all k through 12 schools in ohio are closed because of the the uh, coronavirus now this is getting serious i really want you to think about this because it's something that a lot of people don't really consider what do you what, what are you prepared if the if your state decides to quarantine certain neighborhoods okay so just imagine there's a there's a huge outbreak in a certain neighborhood uh your state will have no no choice but to quarantine that whole entire neighborhood now that has been done in the past it's done in countries around the world right now uh so what what how will you survive what are you going to do about that if that happens i mean are you prepared do you have the provisions and the supplies that you need if you can't you know, go shopping or go out somewhere uh, and forget about ordering online because if, you're, if your neighborhood is quarantined, there won't be anybody bringing in any deliveries. There won't be any mail coming into your, your neighborhood. There won't be any mail coming in. There won't be any mail going out. There won't be any, anything going in or coming out uh, except, you know, certain things. So have you, are you, have you thought about that? Are you prepared for that? Well, you know, that's something to think about. I can't really give you any advice on that other than just, you know, assess what your capabilities are, what you are prepared to uh, do if you're ordered to shelter in place. Uh, think about those things, if, especially if you have small children or elderly or people who need medication on a regular basis. These things you have to think about. This is getting serious, folks. This is a serious situation. No matter where your politics are, no matter what, uh, the government's telling us, no matter what the officials are saying to us, you better do your own research and you better come to your own conclusions about what you're prepared to do because it is that serious. And when it happens, it's too late. You have to prepare for these things right now. As we speak, you need to be preparing for the eventuality of not being able, uh, preparing for the eventuality of your life being disrupted, your normal routine being disrupted. That's absolutely on the way. I mean, even if it's not as major as, you know, quarantines and that kind of stuff, 
they're already around Cincinnati. They've already ran out of of, of um, paper products. You can't find toilet paper uh, and uh, and paper towels anywhere. They're gone. Uh, so we're already seeing some. Um, we're already seeing some some hardships and some disruptions already. And with the schools being closed, that means children are going to be home. Uh, so what are you going to do? Have you, have you found, um, you know, uh, proper child care? Do you even have child care? These things are things you got to think about. And I just want, if you guys are tuning into my channel, I just want to share that with you. There's really no need to panic, but to take this serious. That's all I want you to do is take this serious. And buying silver and putting your finances in order is absolutely a part of that being prepared. So anyway, um, you know, like I said, I'm not going to make this video too long. Just wanted to share these these few things with you guys. I'm up to 260 some odd ounces. I want to get 300 for the month. I'm going to get 300 for the month. Hopefully, if my wife cooperates with me, I'll be able to get a lot more than 300 ounces for this month since silver is so stackable. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna make it through this. This is not the end of the world. Uh, so keep on preparing for the future. Keep on putting that silver away and stacking it for your future because we're definitely going to have a future. It's coming. This is going to pass. As soon as the weather breaks, this is going to pass. We'll be back on track. We'll be back doing the things that we normally do and our lives will get back together. Um, our lives will get back to where we want them to be. So anyway, it's kind of just a rambling on video. just wanted to touch base with you guys a little bit. Um, you know, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, let's just do what we got to do to keep the silver chain rolling and protect ourselves and stay healthy so we come out the other side of this pandemic the better for having gone through it i mean let's just keep on doing what we do anyway i appreciate you guys stopping by keep stacking peace